Today, what we're going to talk about is what mindfulness is, why it's helpful, and then I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to start using mindfulness in your life today. Let's get started. So what is mindfulness? Well, mindfulness is about being aware and paying attention, focusing on what's happening in the present moment and bringing your full awareness to that space. Mindfulness helps us create more space for ourselves, giving us more space to think, more space to breathe, more space between ourselves and how we react to things. And here's a little visual to help you better understand. So when we practice mindfulness, what we're simply doing is just noticing when we get distracted in our mind or in our thoughts or when we're disconnected from what's going on in front of us and gently bringing our awareness back to that moment and doing it in a kind and gentle way that's not judgmental of ourselves, right? We're not in trouble here. We're just noticing when we get distracted and pulled away from the present moment. And the best part about mindfulness is that it's a natural quality that we all have within us. So you have it, I have it, we all have it. It's something that we can practice anywhere, anytime, and it's always accessible to us. So let's go ahead and try practicing bringing our awareness into this present moment. So we'll start off by bringing our attention to our body. Notice how you're sitting in your chair and how you're feeling. Where's your mind? What are you thinking about? Notice your breath, what it feels like to breathe in and out. Really let yourself feel into and arrive in this present moment. Great job. So now that you know what mindfulness is, let's talk a little bit about why you should try it and how it can be helpful in your life. So from the moment most of us wake up, we're going from activity to activity. We're distracted on our phones on our laptops, on our tablets, or we're caught up in our thoughts or our wandering mind, or what I like to call a monkey mind when it feels like there's a bunch of monkeys jumping around in your mind. An example of this is you're sitting in class or you're sitting in front of your computer at home and your mind begins to wander to your job or thoughts of the weekend. And the next thing you realize a couple minutes later, you are miles away from what's going on in that present moment. And you're not, dis you're, you're not present to the teacher or what's going in class. You're really distracted and, and caught up in your monkey mind. So when we practice mindfulness, it brings our attention back to what we're focusing on so that we can be fully present. And when we're focused, it quiets that monkey mind so that we don't feel so stressed out and anxious and overwhelmed. And when we're not feeling anxious and stressed or caught up in our worried mind, it really allows us to deal with our emotions better as they come up, especially if they're big emotions. It's easier to make decisions without panicking and it helps us handle challenging situations as they come up because that's a part of life and we often have to deal with challenging situations day to day. So if you're feeling angry, frustrated, anxious, irritated, sad, or another big emotion, mindfulness helps you notice how you're feeling so you can deal with those feelings in a calmer way instead of panicking or overreacting. Some benefits of mindfulness is that it can reduce anxiety and anxious feelings. It promotes better sleep. It lowers depression and sadness. It puts us in a better mood and allows us to feel better about ourselves. It's good for our health because when we are not as stressed, it improves our brain functioning, it improves memory and focus, it lowers blood pressure, and it strengthens our immune system. 
So there's really healthy benefits to practicing mindfulness. And mindfulness can also be really helpful for your brain while you're learning in school because it boosts your ability to think and it helps you remember more clearly, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed or under pressure, which some of you might be experiencing right now. We are dealing with some really challenging and uncertain circumstances in the world currently. And there's been a lot of changes to our day-to-day -day lives, especially for students. So I just want to acknowledge how difficult this time might be for many of you. You've had to adjust to learning online from a computer at home, not being able to see your friends, not being able to go to school dances and other activities or play in sports and just have a regular school year. And that's a lot, that's a big change. So if you're feeling stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, having a hard time focusing in school or just really struggling to adjust to a lot of these challenges, I want you to know that you're not alone and that it's okay to feel everything that you are feeling. Mindfulness can be a really helpful way to deal with a lot of the challenges that you're experiencing right now. And so my hope is that through this mindfulness series, you'll learn some really helpful tips and ways to practice mindfulness that will really support you during this time. So let's try practicing a little bit of mindfulness, shall we? So I want you to go ahead and get comfortable just wherever you're sitting. And relax your shoulders, straighten up your spine, sit up straight in your chair. Just rest your hands at your side or in your lap. We're just gonna start by taking a deep breath in and letting it out. And now just take a slow look around at your surroundings. Just begin to notice what's going on around you. Go ahead and take another deep breath in and out. And just notice how your body feels in this moment. Can you feel your heartbeat? Maybe you want to put a hand on your heart. Can you notice the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe in and out? And just noticing where your mind is at. Did it wander off somewhere? And if so, that's okay. Just noticing any thoughts. And letting them pass by like clouds. Remember to be kind to your wandering mind. There's no judgment of your thoughts can just say hi to them as they pass by. And then come back to your breath, just bringing your awareness to this present moment. Let's take one more deep breath in and let it all out through your mouth. And just start to Wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your body around a minute. Just take a second to reflect on how that was for you. How'd that feel? Are you more relaxed? Was it challenging to just observe your thoughts and not be judgmental? whatever might have come up for you, just taking a minute to kind of pause and mentally note what that was like. Good. So now that you've had an opportunity to practice a little bit of mindfulness, I want to challenge you to bring a little bit of mindfulness into your day. So the next time you're brushing your teeth, what I want you to do is to practice being fully present and bringing your full attention and awareness to the act of brushing your teeth. 
So just get curious and notice if you're going slow and being patient, if you're going fast and hurrying through because you're stressed out about your to-do list after you brush your teeth. And just be fully in this experience and notice what comes up for you. And if you get distracted while you're doing this, that's okay. Just bring yourself back to your breath. Bring yourself back to brushing your teeth. Maybe you look at yourself in the mirror. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You're just simply getting curious about where your attention is focusing and when you're getting distracted by your thoughts or by your mind and then coming back to brushing your teeth. Have fun with this one. And after you try out this challenge, I invite you to just take a few minutes to jot down a couple notes or reflection about how this experience was. Was it hard? Was it easy? Was it frustrating? Maybe it was silly. There's no right or wrong feelings. We're just noticing what comes up for you and how this experience is. I'm excited to see how this challenge goes for you and what you notice. So let's go ahead and end with a review, a recap of what we've covered in this first video on mindfulness. So what is mindfulness? Well, it's bringing awareness to the present moment. Why should we practice mindfulness? Mindfulness helps us deal with the stressors of the world by being kinder to ourselves. And how can you practice mindfulness starting today? You can notice when you're distracted, take a couple deep breaths and come back to what you're doing. And the challenge for you is to practice mindfulness when you brush your teeth. All right, everybody have fun and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.